Hi, welcome to Classic Car Cave. I thought I'd put up a midweek kind of update. I've been uh, running around today uh, trying to get MOTs or, or pickles as it's called in Austria uh, for the E-Type and the Mini Cooper. And uh, you'll see in the video the, the hassle I had. I think I ended up spending two and a half hours waiting for UMTC to come with a, uh, a loader to pick up the E-Type. The e I could have used my own trailer, but unfortunately there's a bunch of stuff in it that's going to the dump tomorrow, and it would have been a, a headache to, to get it all out. So, And we pay for this recovery anyway. Um, also in this video, I've got a picture of, uh, I've got some uh, footage of my friend's uh, bar, Jer Jeremy, uh, where his uh, garage in Man Cave is, and he has a beautiful Bentley S2, and I want to recreate that colour now, another friend of mine, Martin Reed, has done a, uh, um, a kind of graphic and to, to overlay the colours. So the, the vehicle's not exactly the same, but it gives you an impression of what it would look like. And I think it's the, the, right, um, it, it's the right look for the vehicle. I like the colours particularly. Whether I can match them to what the Bentley is, I don't know. Um, but something similar to that, and I think it will work really well. And it will still give it that old appearance as well. So I hope you enjoy the video and take care. Bye for now. There you go, look. 130 grand's worth of broken down car. Went to the MOT, passed the MOT, no problems. Lovely and sunny, got to about six k's from home and it fucking lashed it down. It was like a torrential rain and I, I couldn't stop anywhere. Time I did stop, get the hood up. Uh, there's quite a lot of water in the car. And I think it's fused. The wipers are gone on it, so I'm going to have to wait for it to go off. Well, one fucking day I don't need it to rain, and it was beautiful all the way there during the test and all the way back. Six k's, fucking piss it down. Ah, do you Adam and Eve it? Anyway, here's what it is. So so I'm here at uh, OMTC with the next one. So, and uh, the E-Type's e back in the garage. It's the ignition barrel, but it's the original one from 66. So I suppose it's going to fail eventually. But everything came back on, and but we got it, we got it uh, transported back up. So this is going for its test now. But I want to stay here and make sure that he understands to only jack it up on the subframes. A bit of a turmoil day today. Um, Unfortunately, a load of the pickle, as it's called in Austria, or the MOTs, a Jew. Um, you get like a three months um, wavering. Uh, it doesn't have to be done on the day. You get like a three months leeway. Anyway, I thought I'd get two of them done. Unfortunately, uh, the weather was great when I left. So I had the top down on the E-Type. It was 22 degrees, 23 degrees. Uh, went and got the test, passed, no problems. And on the way back, about six miles from home, the, the, the Evans just opened and it was like people were throwing buckets of water on me. And unfortunately, I was on a main road and I had nowhere to stop to get the hood up quickly. And uh, the next thing I know, the wipers went on me and uh, had some other mechanical issues. We know what it is. It's actually the ignition barrel is, is, uh, is so badly warm, but it is the original one from 1966. So I suppose it's done a fair job. But we need to uh, change it now. So, and then right after that was at eleven o'clock this morning, I was getting the test. As I say, it passed, no problems. And then I had another one at five o'clock with the Cooper, and it just carried on pissing down. Unfortunately, this failed, and it failed on two things, which one I didn't know about and one I, I did. It, it failed on the it's called Fagasa or the carburetor, and it's running too rich. So, but it needs to be done because I can feel it. It's, uh, it's running far too rich. And the other problem was is the handbrake on the offside wasn't working and I couldn't understand it. What's happened is That's the done. cutter pin has fallen out, which is unusual because they've got a shoulder on them. So the split pin must have come out or something. So I'll get, put a new pin in that one. But, so this one's okay and this one isn't. Um, as far as the XK is concerned, uh, we're finishing up these uh, covers here. I'll show you how they look. 
Um, this is this is so we've made covers for them. Um, you can see they've got like a lip on them there, and then a little edge in as well. I mean, welded these edges off. You might be able to see here. See how there's a cover now underneath. So we've built this cover, and then this side plate as well, which goes under, and he's even cut that half moon shape there for where. That uh, there's like a, they call them. They are called hockey sticks inside there. Um, but the next thing we have to do now is give this a really good clean up on the chassis where they've over sprayed it when they sprayed the car. Why they couldn't? Uh, we've cleaned it a little bit there, but we'll get it back to black. It looks really nice, and you can see how it would look on this side. So yeah, I tell you what, that front came out beautiful. A really nice job of that. Well pleased with it with a lead loader, and this is the other side here. Uh, where are we? There it is. You can see that's how it would look, and obviously you could see right up inside there. So we're making one for that side now, and I'll just stop all the dirt and all the crap going up inside it. So yeah, it's been a very, a very eventful day, but uh, yeah, the car's coming on. Um, just waiting for some stuff to turn up from Holland um, to get things finished up. So there's that chrome that goes across the top here. There's the scutcheons for these uh, handles. And there's a seal to go right across here in the centre. And it sits against between that and the door. So when you shut the door, it, it sits there. The other thing is, is um, there are two... Uh, press studs, let me just, there are two press studs, one goes here and that press studs it against there and there's another one goes in here. But I don't have the little machine to make it, so the guy who is doing the hood for me, the hood is all made, um, but I'm going to get him to punch the holes in it and just fit everything up because it's the last thing. Um, I'll get him to do these, he's an upholsterer, but unfortunately he can't do it for a few months because he had a bad motorcycle accident and he... Anyway, I won't go into that, but he is going to do it for us. But the car will be, I'll be, I don't see any reason why I can't take it and get it turfed uh, without the hood on it. So we'll see how it goes. So yeah, it's been a kind of traumatic day because what I had to do in the end was uh, we had to get OMTC, which is like the AA or the RAC in the UK. I had to get them to uh, come and pick the car up um, where where it broke down. As I said, it was about six kilometres from home. And you can see look, the carpets are just soaked. That's the under carpet. So we're trying to dry it all out now. But you can see the rain, the water's still on it. It really came down big stuff. So I'm trying to dry everything out. And... Uh, Put this interior back in and we check some fuses but you can see the top's absolutely soaking uh, just one of the things oh sorry there we go yeah shit happens what can you say so um but at least this is turf now uh, sorry this is uh, got the mot or pickle for another year um and uh there it is there so it's on tool. Uh, there's, you see the little hole. So it's 25, and it's the fourth uh, 2025. Yeah, so that's where we're at. What a day. Anyway, I guess this is one of the things with old timers or with classic cars. I've got the crap on here, the dirt on here too. Um, yeah, sometimes you, you just get caught a bit, caught out a bit with them, but there's what it is. Anyway, I'll uh, show you what else we're up to. So uh, this is a friend of mine, Jeremy, that's got this beautiful Bentley S2. And I absolutely adore the colours. Um, so I've decided that's what I'm going to do, the Citroen in, in the same colours. So a good friend of mine's done some um, renderings of, of what it should look like. And okay, this is uh, obviously a, just a rendering, but uh, this is the Citroen. But this is the color color code I'm looking for. 
but as you can see, I mean, it's such a beautiful uh, colour, and uh, especially with the rolls and the Bentley Continental in the in the corner there. And by the way, those uh, pumps do work; they're real. So there's a couple of last ones coming up, and uh, you know, as I say, the renderings. But this is the kind of colour code I'm looking for: um, maroon and the silver. I think it'll look really, really nice. And there's the last one. Um, it's more based on a Model A, but something like that. So I hope you like the colour. I do, certainly.